Step right up, folks, and let's tell you about the absolute wizardry that is the knuckleball, aka baseball's very own enchanting spell. This isn't just like any pitch, no, it's a baseball ballet, and it's as unpredictable as a summer thunderstorm. Now picture this, a baseball strike with zero spin, a renegade that goes on a mission as it escapes the pitcher's grasp. It's a dance, folks, a wild, unpredictable, and downright beautiful dance. It's surely heading straight for the plate, but here's the kicker. No one, absolutely no one, knows the route this elusive phantom is going to take, especially not the poor batter standing at the plate. But hey, you want to know what's even more fascinating than a knuckleball in baseball? It's the pitchers who have mastered the art of conjuring this enigma. Indeed, knuckleballers are quite rare to come by in this game, but then they command massive levels of reverence anytime they step up to the pitcher's mouth, and deservedly so. Of course, what sets these hurlers apart is their incredible ability to bridge generations, seamlessly combining skills from the pre-integration era all the way through the turbulent steroid era and into the present day. Plus, what makes their journey even more extraordinary is their uncanny knack for extending their careers far beyond the norm. While many players would hang up their cleats in their mid-30s, these knuckleball virtuosos often defy time, and they continue to dazzle on the diamond well into their 40s. No doubt we've had a couple of such players in the MLB, but some among them have really stood out with mind-blowing talents and exceptional achievements in the baseball world. These are the ageless wonders, the guardians of a timeless craft, and their legacy is often etched in the annals of baseball history. They remind us that in the ever-changing world of sports, some traditions and techniques endure, passed down from one generation of knuckleballers to the next, ensuring that the art of knuckleball lives on. Number 5. Charlie Huff of course, how better to start this list of incredibly talented baseball legends than with the amazing Charlie Huff. This legend's legacy is built on an incredible knack for completing games, which is a skill that really sets him apart in baseball. He hurled an astonishing 107 complete games during his illustrious career, and here's what's even more interesting. He achieved this feat not once, not twice, but six times in seven remarkable years, from 1982 to 1988. Additionally, in 1984, he ascended to the pinnacle of the game, leading all of Major League Baseball with an astounding 17 complete games in a single season. Huff's baseball journey went on for a whopping 25 seasons, and that's to show you just how much grit and passion he had for the game. He graced the rosters of iconic teams like the Dodgers and the Rangers for 11 seasons each. He even etched his name in history as the first ever starting pitcher for the Marlins when they stepped onto the diamond in 1993. And what makes this even more astonishing? Well, he accomplished this feat at 45, facing none other than Oral Hershiser and the Dodgers, but even at that, he still went on to secure a victory. No doubt it was because of his ability to throw absolutely amazing knuckleballs. Huff's career stat line is equally impressive, with 216 wins, a commendable 3.75 ERA, and a staggering 2,362 strikeouts. Moreover, he proudly earned his All-Star stripes in 1986, representing the Texas Rangers. Today, Charlie Huff stands tall as a revered Rangers Hall of Fame member, and there's no doubt that he's one of the greatest knuckleballers to ever do it in the MLB. Number 4. R.A. Dickey R.A. Dickey remains the one and only knuckleballer to clinch a prestigious Cy Young Award. His story is the epitome of transformation, a tale of sheer determination and resilience. Oh, did you just ask how come? Well, here goes. Dickey traversed the baseball landscape as a traditional pitcher at the outset of his career, struggling to find his footing in the major leagues. He played for various teams, including the Rangers, but the path to success proved elusive to him. It almost felt like he was doing too much but getting too little in return. Then, in 2005, a pivotal moment unfolded as Dickey decided to harness the enigmatic power of the knuckleball. Yet, despite his newfound skill, he still faced adversity, wrestling to secure a lasting spot in the majors. However, fate had a different plan for Dickey when the Mets signed him in 2010. It was in the heart of New York that he unlocked his full potential. In his inaugural season with the Mets, he dazzled with a 2.84 ERA, leaving baseball fans mesmerized and in total awe. Simply put, he became unstoppable. But hey, if you think he was good in 2010, then you probably didn't see him in 2012. The pinnacle of this star's career arrived that year, which was definitely a year to remember. The 37-year-old Dickey orchestrated a masterpiece season, going 20-6 with an astounding 2.73 ERA. In addition, he led the league with 230 strikeouts, pitched an impressive 233 and two-thirds innings, delivered five complete games, and spun three shutouts. 
At the end of the year, he clinched the coveted Cy Young Award, etching his name in baseball history. Number 3. Tim Wakefield Tim Wakefield's a name that baseball fans have come to identify with knuckleball mastery, especially in recent baseball history. But then, Wakefield's career, which was predominantly spent with the Red Sox, wasn't always all sugar and honey. It's a tale of endurance and reinvention. The player, who was originally drafted as a first baseman by the Pirates, struggled to find his groove as a hitter in the minor leagues. But instead of bowing to defeat, he executed a complete career pivot, a true 180-degree switch. Wakefield embarked on a mission to master the art of controlling the elusive knuckleball, and to achieve this, he set out to learn from none other than the great Phil Negro himself. Thankfully, we can safely say that this adventure really paid off for him. Over 19 seasons, and with a remarkable 17 of them adorned in Red Sox attire, Wakefield etched his name in baseball history. He notched an impressive 200 victories and sent 2,156 batters back to the dugout with his impressive strikeouts. And of course, this is mainly attributable to his unwavering dedication and mastery of the knuckleball. In 2009, at 42, Wakefield defied Father Time and earned himself an all-star nod. Before that, he already added two glittering World Series rings to his collection in 04 and 07 and even found himself in the spotlight as a Cy Young finalist in 1995, which was his inaugural year with the Red Sox. During that season, he boasted a remarkable 16-8 record and a sizzling 2.95 ERA. Today, Tim Wakefield is a revered member of the Red Sox Hall of Fame, and we can't thank his knuckleball skills enough for that. Number 2. Tom Candiotti Candiotti's career spanned 16 remarkable seasons, primarily in the jerseys of the Cleveland Indians and the Los Angeles Dodgers, and there's no doubt that his legacy has been boldly written in MLB history. Of course, any baseball follower will agree that, with 151 career victories and a rock-solid 3.73 ERA, Candiani was a beacon of consistency and excellence throughout his journey. This fantastic player was a consistent top-tier performer from 1986, which was his inaugural full season in the majors until 1993. While playing, he achieved the remarkable feat of breaking the 200-inning mark an astonishing eight consecutive times. And yes, you heard that right, not once, not twice, but eight good times. Now check this out, even in his consistency, there were two absolutely standout seasons that shone the brightest in Candiotti's storied career. In 1986, he dazzled the baseball world by leading the American League with a remarkable 17 complete games. During that season, he reached new heights with 16 wins, 167 strikeouts, and a staggering 252 and a third innings pitch, setting personal records that left a lasting impression. But Candiotti's brilliance didn't stop there. In 1991, he went on to showcase his mastery with a personal best 2.65 ERA, solidifying his status as one of the game's premier pitchers. And you can place a safe bet that his knuckleball throwing abilities contributed immensely to these achievements. Number 1. Phil Negro At number 1 of this list, we have the Grand Maestro of the Knuckleball, which is none other than the legendary Phil Negro. This man, a true Hall of Famer, is the pinnacle of knuckleball artistry, and he boasts a place in baseball's elusive 300 win and 3,000 strikeout clubs to show for it. The people who watched this sage play called him Nuxy, and for good reason. Negro graced the major leagues with his knuckleball wizardry for an astonishing 24 seasons, hurling over 5,000 innings of baseball brilliance. During that time, most of his magical moments unfolded with the Braves. His records? Well, let's just say it's out of this world. It includes a whopping 318 victories, which places him 16th in the annals of baseball history. Plus, he struck out a staggering 3,342 batters, securing his spot as the 11th highest strikeout artist of all time. Oh, and let's not forget that tidy 3.35 ERA to top it all off. Truly, Negro was more than just a knuckleball virtuoso. He was a five-time All-Star, a league leader in wins on two occasions, and the proud owner of one ERA title and a strikeout crown. Plus, Negro's knuckleball ability was like a timeless ticket for the legend. It allowed him to weave his magic on the mound until the ripe age of 48, 